अब स्टूडेंट्स बात करेंगे अबाउट द डिफरेंट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन टेक्निक्स दैट वी हैव इन द केस ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड इथरनेट स्टूडेंट्स वी हैड क्वाइट अ फ्यू बट ओनली सम ऑफ देम दे वर एक्चुअली यूज इन प्रैक्टिकल सेंस इन द नाइनटीन एटीज लुक इट देम स्टूडेंट्स वी गॉट अ समरी ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड इथरनेट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन द फर्स्ट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन इज कॉल्ड टेन बेस फाइव एंड आई आई टेल यू वट डज दिस इंटीजर टेन mean and what does the base 5 mean but for now you need to know that 10 base 5 is our first implementation the transmission medium that it uses is thick coaxial cable the medium length the maximum length that can be used in this particular implementation is 500 meters and the encoding that we used the physical layer encoding that we use in this particular case is the manchester encoding so and then we had um, 10 base 2 we use a thinner version of the coaxial cable which ultimately you will see in a little bit when we go through each one of these one by one that use of the thin coax actually reduce the cost we have got a, a medium length of 185 meters once again we are using manchester then you had 10 base t which uses two unshielded twisted pair cables maximum length of 100 meters and manchester then we had 10 base f and as the name indicates uh, f means fiber it uses two a uh, unidirectional fibers and it's got a medium length of a massive 2000 meters and we use manchester encoding in this particular case as well so friends as i told you in the standard ethernet the encoding technique encoding and decoding technique that we use it is manchester so friends all standard implementations of ethernet they use digital signaling which means that we've got a baseband signal at 10 megabits per second so friends at the sending end the data is converted to a digital signal using the manchester scheme so you've got your 10 megabits of data you use a manchester encoder and you convert that into a digital signal using manchester so it's at the receiver the receive signal is interpreted as manchester as is the case with all our ethernet standard ethernet implementations and we actually convert that back into the the data that was sent and that is provided to the receiver so it's the first implementation is our 10 base t it is also called as thick ethernet or thicknet now so it's in this case um it is basically the thicknet comes from the size of the cable size of the cable is is uh, Uh, the coaxial cable that we use is pretty big it's too stiff to bend with the hands and it was the first ethernet specification to use a bus topology with an external trans transceiver as you can see in this particular case so we have got a a cable end we have got a transceiver the transceiver cable that connects a particular station to the transceiver the maximum length of that cable possible in this implementation is 50 meters and the thick coaxial cable the range of this particular uh, implementation is 500 meters so it's the 10 in this 10 base 5 represents the data rate that this particular implementation supports base represents we are using a base bad signal or a digital signal and you know enough about that by now and then 5 represents in this case that the maximum length of the transmission medium or the thick coaxial cable in this case is 500 meters if you go beyond 500 meters you have to understand that our signal starts uh, degrading and if more than 500 meter is needed using a particular implementation such as this one 10 base 5 then we will need to use um, repeaters and we'll talk about repeaters in our futures uh, discussions and repeaters actually regenerate your signals so friends the next one is 10 base 2 implementation once again this is also called as thin ethernet or thicknet we are using thin coaxial cable in this case and the maximum length of this cable can be 185 meters and once again 10 represents 10 megabits per second base is your baseband and 2 means um, about 200 meters but in actuality it is 180 85 meters is the uh, max length um so friends thin uh, coaxial cable can be bent very easily um close to the stations 
and the trans transceiver in this case is normally not external it is normally the part of the network interface card and it is installed inside the station so that's the next implementation that we have got is 10 base implementation the t represents that we are using two pairs of unshielded twisted pair and in this case what we do is we use twisted pair hub and therefore this is also called as twisted pair Ethernet. So, students, it actually uses a physical start topology. Yad kijega start topology. When we covered that, we had a hub in the middle, and then we had different stations connected to it. The stations are connected to the hub using two pairs of our UTP cable. So students, in this case, we have got two pairs, two paths available: one for sending, one for receiving. And any collisions that happen in this particular implementation, they happen in this hub out here and not in the cable uh, cables because we have got two separate pairs one for sending and one for receiving and students lastly we've got the 10 base f implementation once again the 10 base f uses 10 base f hub in the middle it uses the start topology in this case as well but our stations are connected to the hub using two fiber optic cables um, the f in 10 base f represents fiber and once again we have got two channels one for sending one for receiving and any collisions in this particular case they happen in the hub as well